Jesus is the continued topic for part two of the series entitled The Fourth Angel. We have previously learned that Jesus is God and Jesus is immortal. In fact, according to the Bible, Jesus is the only person who is immortal. Christians hope for eternal life, but that life is possible only because Jesus will sustain it eternally. A Christian is totally dependent on Jesus, and that dependence is eternal. When the first human was created, God formed the body from physical material and breathed life into it. Before God breathed life into the body, it was not alive. Only when God breathed life into the body did Adam become a living soul. Adam's body was formed, and then God breathed life into him. If God had then taken back that inspiration, Adam would have died. The breath of life would be back with God, and Adam's body would be lifeless. Adam would have been as he was before God gave the breath of life. He would not exist. Of the dying process, the Bible says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto God who gave it. When a person dies, no disembodied spirit is left over. If the spirit of a dead person goes back to God, then no wandering, immortal spirits of dead people exist. Ghosts do not exist. People are not immortal. When Peter addressed the crowd at Pentecost, just after Jesus had resurrected and returned to heaven, he said, For David is not ascended into the heavens. Even King David is not immortal and has not yet made it to heaven. Adam was not immortal. Likewise, Adam's descendants are not immortal. The Bible says, And the woman said to the serpent, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. God told Eve the truth, that she could die. Satan told Eve a lie, she would not die. As God stated, people are not immortal. They had a beginning, and they can die. Only as God sustains a person do they live. <clears throat> Someone might ask, didn't Paul say something about putting on immortality? In 1 Corinthians, the Bible says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. First, the Bible says that people are mortal, but it must put on immortality. This immortality is the everlasting life which Jesus promises. That everlasting life must be sustained. Jesus offers eternal life, but he must sustain it. Under no circumstances can people become self-sustaining gods. Created people cannot stop being created. Jesus sustains all life, even animals. The Bible says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. The Bible also says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The Bible also says, For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man is in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. The Bible also says, There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. The Bible's talking about glorified bodies and unglorified bodies. For clarity, the terms glorified body and unglorified body will be used. Adam was created 
with a glorified body. He sinned, and his body degraded into an unglorified body, which died. When Adam is resurrected at Jesus' coming, Adam's body will be transformed into a glorified body. 